So what I gotta do? Immediately with Mackenzie, I saw the personality. He just exudes fun, energy. Coming to Los Angeles, I don't know whether it was the best thing or the worst thing I ever did. In the UK, it's just soccer, you know? And I feel like being in the north of England, nobody was given that opportunity. You know, everyone loves art here. They love music, they love acting, they love singing. I feel like I need to be in LA because, you know, the opportunity is so much more here than it is in the UK. I sold my house, I sold my business, everything in my life to do this. and. It's not easy like people think, it's work every day. When I first came I didn't really like it. I feel like we started it and got in too deep to be able to back out. But it's, it's been tough. And now I never want to leave. I'd seen the show Dance Moms, but I presumed that the ALDC was a franchise from that. I didn't expect to walk in and it actually be what you see on the show. And so when we walked in, I think we took two footsteps into the building and the first person we saw was Abby Lee Miller. When Mackenzie walked into the studio the first time, he was taken aback that I was actually here. I don't know where he thought I would be, but I'm here, it's my studio. I walked in and I wanted, I wanted a picture with him. I was like, yo, come kind of picture. And he's like, oh, another Justin Bieber wannabe. Oh, another Justin Bieber wannabe. Don't tell me you're a singer. And he, he stood quite confident. He said, yes, I am a singer. And he said, well, I'm a singer, but I need to learn to dance. And I used to dance a little bit, and I want to get back into it. And I said, sing something. And so he sang, and he sang Michael Jackson's Who's Loving You? I, I sang for her. Right there, on the spot. No accompaniment. No musicians. No music. Nothing prepared. He sang. And she's like, oh. Oh, wow. And from that moment on, she, she just clicked. That is the sign of confidence. So I know that that confidence is in him. She wanted me to be successful, and she wanted to be on the journey with me. And she has been for over three years now. He reminds me a little bit of myself, but don't tell anybody that. Don't tell him that. Retain the correction and do it. Don't slip back, for here it will work, and here only. She genuinely believes that this kid is a star. I think Mackenzie having Abby's influence over him has been a huge change to Mackenzie because he listens to Abby. I never want to see ever again in my life this. Okay, ever, ever. Mackenzie's this charming kid that sometimes can get away with things with other people, whereas with Abby, she she sees straight through that. Oh. Oh. Okay. And they just bonded, and she fell in love with him from that day, and she gets as good as she gives with Mackenzie. Killing it for you. For me. For you, babe. For me. For you, for you as yes. well. Because I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make you famous. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna make thank you, you famous. I'll be something else. When when Kenzie and Nick first came to, to America, uh, obviously I I was devastated. It was difficult to move to LA from England, not just because of my dad. You know, I have friends, I have family, my my grandparents obviously. I've missed him so much. My dad it was special because we always had like a connection in music, in music and like we always sang in the car. And I said this to Nick, I said, he's got to go wherever it takes him with his talent. Like I'm always talking to him on text and stuff like that, but it's just, just not the same. And I always knew I'd come out. He flew out here a couple of months back for my birthday and having him here was just the best feeling ever. And being with Kenzie and spending all the time with him morning, afternoon and night, it's been amazing. And watching him in the studio, He's improved so much, even more than when he was back home. I've never really recorded a song with my dad before, so it was a really special moment. Working in the studio with the people who, who we've been producing with has been mind-blowing for me. Uh, a great experience. I was really happy I got to do that. It's been fun, it's been 
it's been an experience, it's been emotional, it's been fantastic. We just felt it and my dad went in there, did it, and it was like, woo. The days while well, we've been here in Los Angeles have been, have been fantastic. And he, he didn't want to leave, and it was the first time I saw my dad cry. I don't know whether it was because he didn't want to leave here, he didn't want to leave me. I just know he felt something he's never felt before. And I hope it was pride. My dad just was so happy for me. It made me feel like, well, I'm really living this life. Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.